Well, hello, YouTube. This is Black Society TV, and uh, I'm back at y'all with a, uh, <clears throat> well, it's a sad story. Um, Steven Twitch Boss. Steven Twitch Boss. Um, he was a well-known uh, choreographer. Um, you know, he was a uh, long-time uh, showman and friend of uh, Ellen DeGeneres. And, um, man, I just want to talk about, and, and I want, after this, I want y'all to uh, like, or share, and subscribe. Really share this video because what I'm about to talk about is definitely, <clears throat> it definitely needs to be heard um, in a community especially in in, in a, well in all communities but um black community you all really need to hear what i'm about to say so everything that's going on today um it, it's really affecting people's minds um it's really affecting people's minds um not so much a couple of years back but now it's like it's um it's happening on a regular basis, you know, and, and like I said, honest, I said in another video, I've never seen so many black people, you know, killing themselves and, uh, uh, you know, and killing their family and killing their kids and stuff like that, man. I, I've never seen it at an all time high like this. It's like at an all time high. And I'm going to tell y'all why. Okay. Just look at everything that's going on. The mass murders of, of black people in churches. Um, you know, how the police and all the police are not bad, but the incidents where the police are killing unarmed black men. And, uh, you know, and also, also in our community, the killings of our own by our own, you know, getting robbed and stuff, and, and, you know, in the hood and, and, you know, blacks killing blacks and, you know, all these rappers dying and, uh, you know, and, and getting killed and things like that. And then it's amongst their own communities. You know, all of this ways. And then even, even, because I'm going to tell you, even with me, like, with all of the kill, killings of black men and stuff like that, not that I'm, 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 you know, I'm scared of anything, you know, I mean by police officers. But it's like, you know, it, black people have PTSD and, and Hispanics. I'm just going to be honest. You know, riding around, even if you good, like with your car and everything and hey, your license and everything good, you know, you just wondering, you know, if you're going to get that stop where you get this asshole that just want to just mess with you and just try to ruin your life or something like that. You know, you, you have that, you have those thoughts and those worries. Like, you know, like that's going to happen. Okay. You're worried about that. And you're also worrying about the next man trying to do this to you and do that to you and all of that. Okay. And it's weighing like when, when a uh, uh, Twitch was talking and, and, you know, they, they were showing his last, uh, you know, uh, Instagram or something like that, you know, and he was just talking about, all of the people, all of the black people who were killed by uh, police brutality and, you know, all of that. Um, and it, to me, it seemed like he just felt helpless. Like it was, it was nothing he can do. I'm going to be honest, like, um, like a year or so ago, year, year and a half ago, um, man, I was just looking at everything that was going on. And I told myself, not that I wanted to kill myself or nothing like that, but I told myself, I said, man, is it worth living in a world like this? With all of this going on to black people like this, even black people going against each other, it's, 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 it's a disgrace. And it's like, it's, it's definitely an all-out war. Like, it seemed like on a black man, you know, and I'm going to tell y'all something. If y'all look at movies now, it's like they're trying to like take the black man 
away from the black woman. Like it's always another race with a black woman in the movie now. It's not, you hardly ever see a black man with a black woman in the movie. It's always a white man, really always a white man or, uh, a, you know, uh, or some other type of race with a black woman. Even on the commercials, it's the same thing. Y'all pay attention. Now, it, you know, it, it, and it's like, it's like nobody cares about us. You know, so it, it, it's putting a lot of like strain and, and, and depression on the black man now. Yeah, we were, you know, we were the strongest things like that, but it's like they're pounding on us now. It's like we're being pounded now, we're being pounded now. You know, our own black women are, you know, going against us and stuff and, you know, they're, they're losing trust in us. And then, you know, for some reason, they have, sometimes they have a right because it's, you know, uh, black men, you know, a lot of black men are not doing right by our women. Okay. And y'all need to start doing right by our black women. Start doing right, man. I'm telling you, because in the end, they're going to be the ones who's going to have our back. You know, even though we're supposed to be there for them, hey, man, black women are strong, too. And a lot of times they're there for us. Like mine, she's definitely there for me. Definitely. And I'm telling you, they're there to have our back. So we got to stop treating them wrong, okay? In this state that's going on, everything that's going on, we need them. We need them. We need that pat on the back. We need that, hey, look, I'm there for you. I'm there with you. I'm, I'm by your side. We need that. Okay, we definitely need that. And like I said, with all that's going on, it's putting a lot of it is. It, it's, it, it's break finally breaking the the black man down, and that's why we're seeing a lot of this killing their family members, killing their, their kids, and and and, and killing themselves and things like that. A lot of this stuff is weighing. A lot of this stuff is weighing. So what I'm asking y'all to do, and it ain't just black men, you know, it's men all over, you know. So what I'm going to ask y'all to do is, you know, I'm going to ask y'all to, to pray also. But men, learn to have a conversation. If you have a woman at home, learn to try to have a conversation. A lot of times we don't want to talk about things. We don't want to, you know, conversate with somebody else, with another man. If, even if you have to talk to another man about what's going on with you. I done had that before. A lot of guys I done talked to, they just open up and start talking. I don't shut them down. I don't say, man, I don't want to hear that. I listen, and then we talk, and we get everything out. Sometimes you need that man-to-man bond to get things out, okay? A lot of times you don't want to talk to your woman about it. Go talk to another man or something. Don't go talk to another woman. You got a woman at the house. Talk to another man about it. See his input on it. See if he can help you out. That way you won't be feeling like you bottled, have stuff bottled in. When you have stuff bottled in, that's when you want to hurt yourself and kill yourself because you feel like you can't tell nobody. Nobody can help you. When you feel helpless, then you feel like it's time to check out. I'm telling you. And a lot of these police officers out here, too. Just think about the things that they see on a day-to-day basis. That takes a toll on them. They need somebody. What police officers need to have is anytime they see a killing or involved in a killing or something like that, they need to um, immediately go to counseling or have some type of program where they go to counseling to get them help with that. Seeing dead bodies and all that stuff, that stuff away way on a person. How that police officer, that uh, state trooper drove all the way to that 15-year-old girl house and then killed her family and all of that and took her off. Something was heavenly on his mind. He didn't seen too much. He needed help. He needed somebody to talk to. And he ain't had that. So he took it out on some more people. I'm telling you, men... Learn to open your mouth and say something. Talk to somebody. You don't necessarily have to go to a counselor, but 
if you have a, a friend, a best friend or something, hey, man, look, I need to talk to you about something, get something off my chest, man, before I, I explode. You know, and I truly believe that, that uh, uh, you know, Twitch, he, he needed, you know, a, a male figure or needed somebody to, to talk to, to get stuff off his chest. And if he would have did that, I think that, you know, maybe it would have been a different outcome. But you too, I'll be back at y'all with another one. But y'all share this video so we can let people know what to do, how to do it, you know, and, and, and bring some awareness to this. All right. Thank you, YouTube.